folks to how to build a successful city in SimCity 2000. Now then. Because this is the closest city to my current area. You know, stuff. So I'm Frag Penguin. Yeah, you already know me. So, the big hint, or the, or the big the big thing to do here is to find a spot near fresh water. That's the main thing you need to do. Always put coal power here. A little bit farther away from the water. And... Start with some light industrial. Light industrial, you know. Let them breathe smog for a while. And this is actually the preferred way to set up your first city. $90 worth of light and industrial, light residential and industrial. One power line right there. And just let it go. Because as soon as one starts building here, they'll start building right there and it'll all connect. And it'll be nice and pretty. It'll be so pretty. Blue. It's pretty. So I'm just doing this for shits and giggles, right? Yeah. Just doing it for shits and giggles. There's no continuation of this. This is just going to be a couple videos of me playing SimCity. So, uh, you all know about SimCity, it's a city simulation game by Maxis Corp, headed by Will Wright, who designed Spore, that awesome game that the Catholic Church and the Christian community is denouncing. Now here we go, the budget. Always listen to these guys. And I like to do, what I like to do is always set up pollution controls at the very beginning nothing else and ignore these guys just ignore them because I'm gonna turn disasters off therefore I don't need fire stations and I don't need well I don't need fire stations because there's not gonna be any fires now the ratio for industrial to residential is 1 1 for every square of industrial you want one square of residential commercial I haven't quite figured out what the ratio is yet but now then, a little bit. Property value. You tax people per acre. So this is the land value, $7,000 per acre. Now you can raise that by inserting parks and other land value. See, it goes up to $16,000 per acre. $13,000, $20,000, 16000 $141,000 per acre. Now, you don't want to uh, worry about the water yet, because it's only 1901 in the years, so, you know, they still got no sanitation whatsoever. So you don't really need to worry about that quite yet. Now, if there's a little bit of a delay in the building here, you just put a little bit of power lines. Now, look at this. I've already got an $18, uh, $16 income in my first year. These I really don't like, so I'm just going to turn that off. If you put power lines here, it's going to cost a little bit more, but it's going to speed up the growth. Now there's this one little D-zone thing, or little zone that isn't... Uh, being built on, so I'm just going to put a park there, and I'm going to cancel cancel out the ratio with another park over here. So I got two parks on each side, so it's a good ratio. I'm going to wait until they are all built. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, hurry it up. Come on. Come on. Build. And these little abandoned buildings 
These things right uh, okay, but it's not reading it, but little abandoned buildings, don't worry too much about that. If there's a bunch of little abandoned buildings, you need to lower the property taxes. These over here, this shows how much it's how much each zone is in demand. Right now, industrial is not in a lot of demand. So don't build a lot of industrial. Residential is in a lot of demand though. So we're just gonna add another little line of this. Sims never walk more than three squares away from any given road. So they will only build three zone squares away from a single road. Any further and they won't build. If you build another line right here, they won't build that. They won't build that. No, they won't. Okay, so the residential is going down a little bit. Don't worry about commercial until 1950. Also, when you have the disasters off, then the power plants don't explode. They automatically rebuild themselves, billing you. So you got to keep your eye on that every 50 years. Now, don't worry too much about the education. The education doesn't really uh, play too much, and it just it just puts a burden on your taxes or on your income. So don't worry too much about that. Look, I've already got $29 in my third year. It's pretty damn good. So what I want to do now is balance out and then expand. What I want to do is do the same thing as I did on that space. It looks like I'm not going to have enough space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level out the terrain here. Guess not. Lower terrain. Whoops. I don't know what happened there. But it's all better. Level some terrain. I am losing money. So adding a little bit of land here. This is costing me $25 per square. So this is not good. I'm going to lower this terrain by one. There we go. Now we're going to repeat this process. Sorry about this little sound glitches. There's really nothing I can do about that. This is a DOS box. So now to speed up the growth, I'm going to put a little bit of power lines in here. A little cross hatching. And I've got a good income here. And this is something I normally don't do. I modify, I'm modifying the terrain right now. Since I already know how this is going to turn out, don't worry too much about the Sims being pissed off that you're building industrial right next to their homes. Screw them. Screw them to hell. And speed up growth a little bit. See how fast this is growing? This is good. This is very good. Now around 1920, you're, you're going to want to consider putting in water, water supply. Now water supply is very expensive, so you want to make sure that you have a good amount of money stored away before you actually do that. Of course, the more people move in, the more you can tax them, and the more money you get. So be the evil mayor. The ideal tax rate is 6 to 8 percent. The higher it is, the less likely your sims are going to move in. Now, ignore bonds at all costs. The more older viewers who have actually voted and dealt with their own taxes know what bonds are and why it is bad for the government and good for us. We are the government playing right now, and it is good for them, but not good for us. So ignore bonds at all costs. These little tabs here, 
You know, it shows where all the little trees are and the lakes and all. It's so pretty. This I don't really know what this is. This is the ratio of industries. Population. It doesn't really show a numerical population. It just shows a percentage. These are the adjacent cities. You can't really contact them. This opens up the budget window. These things toggle buildings, signs if you have them, property, and roads, and trees, and stuff. That's the basics. You got a little flourishing city here. You got a good income. There you go. Have fun. I'm Frag Penguin. Goodbye.